Hi friends, it's Amy from humilityandoxology.com and I am so excited to share this poem with you in the year of memory work. Um, it is a poem called The Wild Rose by Wendell Berry and I actually can't recall the first time I was introduced to this poem. I've been trying to rack my memory and come up with where I originally heard it and I just I just can't. Um, it was several years ago. I actually was first introduced to Barry through his poetry and then from there began reading some of his essays um, and then just actually um, a couple of months ago I read Jaber Crow for the first time. And I have to say this is probably maybe a different opinion than a lot of people have but my favorite thing is actually his poetry. Um, and I own one collection of poems that does not include the Wild Rose, and I'm going to put in the description um, the book where the Wild Rose, a, a compilation of, of most of his poetry, or much of it anyway, um, which includes the Wild Rose. But when I first heard this poem um, a few months ago, or a few years ago rather, I actually asked my sister-in-law, who is a calligrapher, to calligraphy it for me and give it as an anniversary gift to my husband. I want you to listen to, um, to this poem if you are married um, or if you are thinking about marriage one day, because I think it perfectly encapsulates that constantly saying I do, right? When you're married, you don't just say I do one time and that's it and go and off into the sunset and live happily ever after. You're constantly making that choice to say I do again today and I do and I will um, by the grace of God. And so I just, I love this poem and I hope you love it as much as I do. You can follow along uh, with the principal um, at humilityandoxology.com slash year of memory work, which I'll put in the description. But today, you can also just listen as I recite The Wild Rose by Wendell Berry. Sometimes hidden from me in daily custom and in trust, so that I live by you unaware as by the beating of my heart. Suddenly, you flare in my sight, a wild rose blooming at the edge of thicket, grace and light, where yesterday there was only shade. And once more, I am blessed, choosing again what I chose before. I look forward to seeing you next week. Make sure you head to Humility and Doxology to get all of this year's collections of poetry and speeches in the year of memory work, and I'll see you next week.